Hi, David Whitehouse here, and another quick web tips for business. One of the questions I get asked an awful lot is, should I use one of these Wix one-on-one -on -one build your own website template type things? So I thought I'd run over the advantages and disadvantages of those. Advantages are, if you're a new business, limited budget, not no money to spend at all, they're really quick, cheap, and easy to set up, something you can do yourself online. So if you want something to just whack on your business card, quick and easy, not too bothered about it, they're ideal for that scenario. Uh, and you can edit them yourself, obviously, is another advantage. You can log in, add your own images, add your own text. You get sort of set template structures that you can use and then, you know, add all your content onto there. So a quick, easy, set up with no budget. The disadvantages are uh, when you want to have your own domain name, for example, yourname.co.uk, that's when they start coming to the ongoing cost and they charge you monthly for this. So rather than with a bespoke website that's going to be a one-off cost and it's yours then, they cost you monthly and essentially they always own that content as well. So if you wanted to move that website away at any point to your own hosting, you can't do that. That's all owned by them. Obviously, you can copy and paste your images from there and your text from there, but the actual website itself, you can't actually move away. Uh, they can be quite awkward to edit as well, especially if you want to add something bespoke on there. You want a form in a certain area, you want it to look a certain way, then you're very restricted in what you can and can't do, uh, as opposed to obviously a bespoke website where you can pretty much do anything. Uh, I'd say probably the biggest downfall with them though is the search engine optimization element. Because when Google look at a website, they'll look at the quality of the code and they'll look at these build your own websites and they put them in the same pot as all the other ones and say actually these aren't as good. And they'll look at a bespoke website that's been written, quality SEO coding, and if a competitor's got a website like that as opposed to one of these build your own ones, they're always going to put that person higher. So that's what I'd say is really if you're looking to set one of these up, you just want something quick, easy, whack on your business card, you're never going to be that bothered about it then it's fine. But if you're more looking into the long term and you might eventually want to move to, uh, you know, start beating your competitors on Google, adding things yourself, being a bit more bespoke and owning all your content, then you might be better off just going with a bespoke website. And also you're not going to have that ongoing cost for the rest of your life. You know, you're going to pay it and then it's yours then. Yeah, so that's the sort of the comparison between the two. But obviously take a look at these websites and if you've got any other questions, always use hashtag AskDW on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for watching.